I want to talk to you about lines uh, below text and just talk about two ways because you have some exercises coming up that you will see them and you need to use your common sense and use a judgment call about what line, how the line is created. So one way students pick up on is this little border here. And, you know, you can click this. You can see this is a bottom border here. And when you click that, you get a line, and it's quite snug up to this text. And in order to take this off, you would have to come out here. Actually, maybe you can just put no border there. That's even easier. Uh, now, there's another way. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm putting my cursor at the end of this text. I'm pressing Enter. And I'm coming again to this drop-down, clicking horizontal line. That puts a horizontal line in, and it put my cursor below that. And when I click on this line, I can select it, or I can double-click on it. And this is how I could turn it black and make it thicker. And notice that this line on below this text is quite a bit uh, below this text. So you have two different ways to do this. Once in a while, it's tough to actually get the blank line to show up after the horizontal line. It isn't in this case. But also another little tip is uh, well, here's an example. I know this is difficult. So sometimes, I'm going to come here. Sometimes if you have a text box around text, I want you to notice. So I'll put a paragraph box border around here. And notice that trying to get past this, I can't enter past it. I can't click outside, so you need to know that if you double click below it, uh, you can then start a new line. So that's another thing that is helpful. Also, uh, inserting a date as a field. You're going to be asked to insert a date as a field. I don't think we've done it yet. I want to quickly show you that it's on the insert tab here. And uh, you can come over here. There is an icon. Yours will probably be bigger. Insert date and time. That takes you here. You can pick the format that you want. And if you say, if you put the check on to update this automatically and say OK, then I want you to notice, because this is a field, I'm not sure if you can see the little gray box pop popping up here, showing this is a a field just when you hover over it. So if I was to open this document in one week's time, it would insert that, the date one week from now, here, instead of leaving it uh, at the current date as of today. So uh, the a date is a common field that is inserted, so you can do it off the icon. You can update it automatically or not. If you don't ever want it to change, you would not put that uh, box there. Uh, we're going to go a lot more into fields in level two. There is another way to insert them, and I need to just find it here. Quick parts here, field. And there are a whole number of different fields, and I can click date here. and. Uh, it looks a little bit different over here, but um, if I say OK, you can see this is also a field that's been inserted, but it's just easier to go when you do the date right to that one.